Hi, I'm Chad. And I'm Hillary. And we want to tell you a little bit about our channel. Um, a few things we're going to be talking about and recording um, include our Basset Hounds, Winston and Bailey, and our house renovations, which we're going to talk a little bit about today, as well as some of our adventures in Eastern Kentucky um, and the many different places we'll be traveling, hopefully this year. Um, we'll be able to talk a little bit about uh, where we came from, which is Michigan, and where we travel to, which includes the Florida Keys, um, and all the places in between. And we're hoping that you'll join us, you'll like us, and you'll subscribe um, to get more videos going and to see more of, about our adventures. Today we want to tell you a little bit about our renovation that we did in the upstairs part of our house. Um, we'll post more pictures and videos to show you the before and after, and we're, we're hoping that you like our little cabin renovation that we did. So we moved to Eastern Kentucky three years ago from Key West, Florida, and uh, we wanted to find a small house, um, you know, out kind of in the country, and uh, we, we've liked cabins for a long time. And so we found a Cape Cod and we are basically converting it into a country uh, French style um, cabin. We have a lot of rustic uh, um, elements combined with more uh, modern. Um, we call it our Cape Cabin. <laughs> yeah, Cape Cabin. So we'll, we'll uh, take you on the tour and uh, show you where we're at. Uh, things to come, we have an entire downstairs that's um, not in bad shape, but we're going to be remodeling the uh, bathroom, uh, the two bedrooms, the kitchen. Um, we have a breezeway that we're going to incorporate into the kitchen space. And a deck, too. And a deck we space. have to do. And, um, and the entire outside of the house, too, if we get to that. <laughs> the house sits on a little, uh, a little over a half, a half an acre, and um, we have a greenhouse, and we have a um, commercial hydroponic system in the basement, so we'll be... Uh, debuting some of that um, in some of the videos. Um, we hope to get the hydroponic system up and going. Uh, we grow lettuce and uh, we have um, beta buckets and uh, we wanted to get some peppers going. We, we've had some issues with aphids um, in the summer, so the winter months seem to be better for the, uh, um, the hydroponics. So I'll uh, take you on a tour of what we've accomplished so far. So when we bought the house, um, the upstairs was um, rather hideous it had uh you know a lot of linoleum uh paneling l really low ceilings um we converted the gable um, roof into exterior um, insulated roof so we could have the cathedral ceilings and we went to the local lumber company which is just on the other side of the mountain behind our house and we got i had them cut eight inch um beams and this is all southern yellow pine and i used a uh, mortise and tenon to put these uh, together and um, they uh, they go through the floor into the floor joists and they add structural support to the um, to the roof um, then we've got um, cedar um, for our, our interior walls and the ceilings are poplar um, they were uh, they were cut local and um, they were put in green and they dried in and then we seal them with slack and there's some cedar kind of uh, um, accents. yeah accented into the to the ceiling as well, and we wanted to do um, um, I guess recessed um, closet spaces which we haven't uh, gotten the hardware for the barn doors that'll cover that yet, and we also recessed uh, the bed area just to give a little bit more room um, in the center area of the floor, um, and we've gone all over uh, the southern United States um, going to antique places and. Um, what do you call those places? Um, yeah, flea market. Flea market type things, and we've found um, lots of uh, things to accent the uh, house with, like the like the saw and the axe. The axe actually used to um, do the staircase, um, which uh, we also got these windows. Um, Hillary thought it'd be a good idea to kind of break the space up a little bit with um, these hanging windows, and they came from antique shops. And the staircase railing is a combination of um, sawn lumber, it's cedar, uh, and hand hewn. So what I did was uh, my friend gave me um, some cedar logs. I just had them ripped at the log company and then I uh, hand hewed um, the, uh, each side so that it would give the rustic look. And with the windows and everything, it breaks the space up nicely. So and a then, shout out to Doyle and his cedar. Yeah, Love this, it. It just made everything pop up here really nicely. Yeah, definitely. 
And we recessed um, bookcases and we put lights in and we got uh, some antiques and stuff in there. Um, it's LED lighting and that's all poplar in there. And um, um, I forget what, I think it's Southern Yellow Pine mm -hmm. or what the shelves are made out of. And then we also recessed the, uh, the desk area, which we ran all the security cameras to. And that's currently sitting there. And um, tell them where the desk came from. Now the desk is uh, live edge and um, probably needs to be sanded down, sanded down again. Uh, it's live edge, and um, we pulled this out of the free pile of the uh, lumber yard, and um, it came out really nice. Um, with a few came, came out of a mud pile. Yeah, it was in we the just, mud. <laughs> <laughs> we just pointed that out. It was in the mud, and when Chad first brought it home. I I was like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do with this thing that you pulled from the mud? And, you know, the more we looked at it, the more, and it was frozen, the more we dried it out and worked with it, I, it just became a beautiful uh, piece, not only for our desk, but also accented um, our walls and our bathroom. So Chad will show you that yeah. in just a second. And so we... Um... We have uh, four sets of these beams to support the roof, and in the very center we have cross beams um, to help support everything. And um, it turned out really well as, well as far as we're concerned. We got more cedar on the bathroom wall here, and we do have crawl space, um, and I wanted to be able to access that and get pretty large items in, so we did these doors, and they kind of are like sailboat um, style. They, they, had, they had the turnbuckles and um, they just, the, the doors completely just pull right out. And they're insulated as well, so the cold air doesn't come in. We got one on each side. And uh, we did kind of quickly redo the staircase. The stairs were kind of a nightmare. They, they didn't really have, they weren't put together correctly. Um, and in order to fix them the right way, you'd have to tear everything out. Um, so we just ended up putting up um, some walls and uh, and well, um, we put new and new stair treads stair down. treads down too, which helped a lot. The original stair treads weren't actual stair treads at all; they were just pieces of lumber that yeah, somebody they were put just down. Two by, uh, two by twelve. And, and they weren't actually big enough to be stair treads, so we replaced those, stained them, uh, and painted the risers white, so it would accent some of the same things that we've done up here, too. And then on the floors, we laid um, red oak, uh, hardwood floors, three quarters inch thick, um, all throughout the uh, bedroom and the, I guess, office space. Um, and we got cedar uh, where the stair railing uh, meets. And the spindles are just kind of temporary. Um, we had to get that in for the appraisal. So those are just your regular cheap uh, two by twos. Um, they'll probably be replaced by cedar uh, logs. Um, and it's all set so it can be easily pulled apart but um, it's uh, very strong. These uh, are six by, or these are four by four, four by five, five by five cedar posts, um, hand done. And you can see the red I was talking about earlier um, with the cedar out in the greenhouse, how it comes through. And these actually go through the floor and are uh, mounted to the floor joists with uh, eight inch timber screws um, that they use in log cabins. And then here's the bathroom wall. We left it open at the top. Um, so we can put plants or whatever we want well, up there. And two, the, the thing that was important about leaving it open, we originally were not going to have, we, we weren't going to have a wall here. But when everything was torn apart, I remember standing in the kitchen and looking up and saying, if we're going to have a bathroom here, um, we better either, one, keep the door down there or put a wall up because you could see right up through here. We wanted an open concept and we wanted people to see that it was seamless going across with the wood. Um, we wanted that seamless kind of open concept. So, so we compromised and did a little opening up at the top. Um, and we thought it would be nice since we work with hydroponics and we work with plants so much, we would put a plant up there kind of, you know, binding things together, all the things that we love, cabin life and um, working with plants. And so this wall originally wasn't going to be here, but it ended up working out really well for things like electrical on the other side um, and the nice touch with cedar. So you'll see that the cedar goes from that wall to this wall to the inside wall of the bathroom, which ties it all together really nicely. 
So we tried to get the country French in with the white accents um, and the kind of brass coppery um, fixtures, but we also have that cabin feel too. So we, we have a nice compromise. And of course we have the cedar accents from Doyle's, um, the wood that he gave us. And we tried to use as much as possible on the, the ceiling and the accents just because we love it so much. And it's so beautiful. It came from Eastern Kentucky, um, from Doyle's Mountain. And so we, we really wanted to uh, use it as much as possible. And going into the bathroom, um, we've got, as you first come in on the right, we got LED lighting, so it can be bright, but we've also got the softer lights, which I'll show, I'll show in a minute. And then we've got the bathtub, which um, I didn't really want the faucet to be in a standard place, so we kind of put it on the back wall and side. And it's not really practical to have a shower in here, so we just put the hand um, attachment there low, uh, so you can kind of rinse off if you want, um, and it works well. We still have some trim to do to the tub, but... And you'll see from our other videos that we post that it works really well for the Basset Hounds to give them a bath. Because downstairs, we only have this really cramped kind of space with a shower. And, you know, we have a hand shower down there too for the dogs, but this is a lot nicer for giving them a bath and trimming their nails and having spa day with them. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but if this looks familiar to you, this is the other part of that piece of wood that Chad um, got from the mud and the cold. Uh, and again, we sanded it and schlacked it and we thought it was a nice accent between the cedar and the poplar ceiling. It ties it all together with the white shiplap um, that we have here and the cedar accents, again, from Doyle's, uh, Doyle, Doyle's Mountain. That he helped us um, with our restoration and we're, we're so thankful for that. There was no upstairs plumbing here so plumbing was a little bit of a challenge. Um, we don't have but maybe six to eight inches of floor space so we actually had to cut into the downstairs closet um, for some of the toilet plumbing and the tub plumbing runs uh, to the same um, main um, part that, sh that goes to the, to the septic system. And then over here we have the sink um, which that's all plumbed in, uh, it vents up through the roof, um, through the crawl space. And, um, again, we have the, the accents that run through the whole upstairs, the kind of brassy brownish, um, accents with the mirror that we, we found, we picked it from, um, one of the local, uh, flea markets. Um, the lights, they're just regular lights, but they also match the lights in there. We wanted some kind of antique canister lights and the fixtures kind of all match in here. But we have that nice kind of country French look too with the tile. Um, and of course, if you recognize this board on the wall, the accent board again is part of that big um, piece of wood that, that we got from the mud and um, salvaged and reworked and um, we think it turned out really nice. And so we can add hooks and hang stuff from it. Um, and that's, how big was it originally? It was about, well, it was live edge on both sides. So it varied in width, but it was between 18 and 22 inches wide. And it's about two, two and a half to, was two and a half to three inches thick. Mm -hmm. and I think we cut the rough side off. And I think we used all of it. Yeah, we did. We used yeah. all of it. Um, but we also wanted to have some touches from not only Michigan, but also the Florida Keys. So some of the pictures we took from our, our vacations to the Keys before we moved there, um, we put up here and added those little touches. And you'll see some artwork around the house that I did when you know years and years ago. So we've got some nice touches um, with the different accents that we thought would just work really well. We wanted everything to be basically original and we try to avoid box store stuff as much as possible. But sometimes it's unavoidable, as you guys know. And moving forward, um, I think we're gonna be uh, investing in a um, sawmill so we can get our own custom size and style wood. And it's just, it's, it's, just it's getting so expensive yeah. at the box stores now. Um, I think it's actually cheaper at the local hardware store and it's, it's much better wood. But um, I'd like to probably cut our own. We have about six or eight pretty tall, um, healthy black walnut trees on the edge of our property. And we want to take them down and, and 
Yeah, Some of them build them up in the yeah. boards. Mm -hmm. So they have a they, they make the soil kind of acidic, and yeah. we wanted to put apple trees in, mm -hmm. um, so they kind of have to go. But that'll be a different uh, episode. That'll be that's right. One where we probably are destroying stuff. So, um. <laughs> and that that brings us to our our next idea of um, we want to kind of crowdsource and get some ideas from you. So you'll be um, you'll be able to help us to uh, kind of shape our Cape Cod cabin, I guess you could say, a little bit more. We'll be putting out videos and asking your advice and um, seeing what projects we should work on next. You know, what do you want? Hillary and Chad to tear out next and where should their next adventure be? So if you have suggestions as we're going through the videos or you have suggestions like, hey, you should check out this place for antiques or you should come here. Um, we would love to hear uh, your comments, your feedback. Please um, like and subscribe if you want to see more from us. Um, we do some pretty <laughs> funny, quirky things too. So you'll see lots of different videos from us. So we really appreciate um, the feedback. So be sure to comment and let us know what you think. It's Saturday and it warmed up to about 31 degrees. So what do we do? We head to the lake. <laughs> like those and they ran around the yard a little bit today but we thought it'd be fun to take them out since it's kind of sunny out and um, a little bit warmer than before so hopefully they'll like it. I was going to take the drone but we crashed it earlier. <laughs> it's a it's like a Walmart drone so we took the camera off of it because it was really bad it had like a little I don't know spot fish eye camera type deal. It was horrible. So I put the GoPro on it and I wasn't sure about the added weight. It did really good, but when the battery gets low in this drone, it just wants to go straight up and kind of to the side or whichever way. And it always goes flying into the trees. So there's cool crash um, footage on the uh, drone video. So we decided to go to the lake and uh, take the bassets out there and try to keep them off the ice if there's any ice because we were, we were going to go to Turkey Foot, which is a national forest, but I don't think um, the roads there are like really bad. The dirt roads are really like steep, and they're probably iced over because the secondary roads are iced over, as you can see in the other video. <laughs> so here's the Bassets. They're, all, they're getting rested up, all running on the trails. <laughs> They usually have a lot of fun there. So we're, we'll what? We're just starting our channel, the Southern Expo Southernmost Exposure, 
and um, we moved here to Kentucky about what, two years ago, three years ago, three years ago. Yeah, 2019. And 2019. We moved from Key West, Florida, where we lived for what nine years, mm -hmm. and we enjoyed the ocean and the warm weather, um, but it just got to be the same thing. And when in driving, you know, to her mom's house, which she lives in Cleveland, um, we Ohio. really liked Ohio. Um, we really liked the uh, the area um, around Eastern Kentucky, so we ended up moving here, and uh, we stayed with our. Well, our, we met our landlords we, we rented a small cabin out on the lake on yeah. Laurel Lake we're part of the lake where we're going now and um, after a year we bought a house in a small town uh, near where we, we both teach and um, and uh, ever since then we've been remodeling the house and uh, we're trying to turn it into a kind of a country French um, style uh, it's a Cape Cod but we're converting it and we'll be putting a video up um, about all the work we did on the house. We we have a lumber mill that's not far. It's like, it's like right behind our house and technically our neighbors. And we had a lot of the lumber for the house um, uh, sawn up for us. And uh, and then I did some hand hewing and we, we do a lot of uh, custom carpentry uh, when we remodel. So we'll, we'll post that video here in the next couple of days um, for you guys to check out. And the Bassets, we've had Basset hounds since 2003. Um, I always wanted one as a kid, and um, we ended up getting one for my birthday in 2003 when we were in Michigan, because we're originally from Michigan, and um, we, we met in Michigan, we both grew up in Michigan, and just really didn't like the weather a whole lot. Uh, so we moved our family down to the Florida Keys, and love the weather there, but it, as Chad said, you know, it was kind of expensive. We couldn't really afford housing, um, and Kentucky seemed to be a lot more affordable, and uh, especially in eastern Kentucky, and um, we could both find jobs, and we were closer to my mom, and it just ended up being a, a good place for us. But the Bassets, um, we started out in 2003 with Dexter, and um, then we got Daisy in 2004. They had a couple litters of puppies. We loved having the puppies. We loved having the basset hounds. Um, and then in, gosh, 2015, yeah. 14, 15, um, our daughter Lydia, uh, she's still in the Keys. She um, called us up and, and she said, hey, there's a basset hound here at a restaurant. They're going to take him to the SBCA. Do you want to you like to adopt him before they you know take him out there and so we went and picked up at, um this i don't know he was probably we thought he was probably five or six but he might have been older than that uh basset hound he was adorable he was a little bit skittish at first um but then he got to know daisy and dexter and by then they were senior dogs um but we named him rufus and then about a year later dexter passed away um, and then about four or five years later, Daisy passed away and we brought Rufus here to Kentucky. Rufus did enjoy Kentucky quite a bit. Um, he wasn't so sure about the cold though, cause he was a Florida dog. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, was one of the joys of our life and he passed away, unfortunately last summer and we were heartbroken. We were about six months without a dog and, um, really you know not liking being without a dog we've always had dogs we've always had you know some kind of pet and um so we were we, we decided to start up the basset barn again and get uh winston and bailey they're sleeping right now ignoring they're, me <laughs> they're, they're akc registered and we we searched um nationwide we we prefer we really like the the big bone um, basset hounds, the, basically the European um, basset, and we specifically look for tricolors. We want the, you know, the full black blanket and big meaty legs, super soft fur, and, um, and of course a wonderful attitude. <laughs> and, and along with the wrinkles. The basset attitude, right? <laughs> They're both very stubborn. Yeah. 
and very sweet. Um, and they get along. They're about four weeks apart in age. Bailey's uh, older than Winston and a little bit bigger, but as you can see, they love to cuddle with each other. And um, we're firm believers that Bassets need friends. So we planned it to get you know, not just one bass, a hound puppy, but two so they could grow up together and enjoy um, playing together. And they really do enjoy playing together and um, keeping each other busy, especially when, when, you know, we're at work and things like that. They love uh, hanging out and playing. And um, we're hoping in a, you know, a few years to breed them and have puppies and start up the, the Basset Barn again. So that's our hopes. Uh, in the meantime, we're, we're posting videos of these guys and having fun uh, remodeling our house, enjoying teaching, and um, hopefully we can get down to the Keys to see Lydia um, and maybe up to Ohio to see my folks, uh, my mom and stepdad, and uh, take some video of all that too. Uh, hopefully we'll get some good footage at the lake uh, the lake is beautiful. We love going to Laurel Lake in the summer, the spring, the fall, the winter, all year round because it's just an, a nice, uh, nice trails. But they also have um, a nice lake there too that you can access just, you know, just a few feet, a uh, few a short foot walk uh, from the parking lot. So we'll see you at the lake. Bailey, Winston. You guys at the lake? Are you guys at the lake? I think they think the water's cold.
agility test. Winston. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's the agility test. She's gonna go in the drink. Bailey. Bailey. Come on. Guys, the ears are getting drenched. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> What's that? Come on, baby. Come on, guys. You're gonna get cold. <laughs> you got snow all over your nose. Come on. I wonder if they can make it up there. All right, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Bailey, come on, Winston. Come on, Winston. Come on, buddy. Come on, Winston. Up the hill, buddy. You got it. Fry our wings, get them a little bit crispier. 